place to see. I'll just my All right, we are in. Let's see, participants, just me. All right. So I wanted to look professional, so I got this. I'm really watching a movie. That's right. <laughs> Very impressive. Yes. I hope Eddie's coming because I he just because he gave me his evaluation, I can't use it unless he's necessary here to vote. But uh, well, unless he's going to pop on now, he could. But we don't. Um, we still we have a quorum, so we can. Uh, I'm going to give Eddie a little here, time right? though. Yeah, Luke's here, so we have four. I did talk with Johnny Lombard, but and he gave me his opinion via email, but according to town council, that doesn't do anything, so. I don't know if I have his number. Email. Let's see if I have it. I think he would have been not presenting. Do you want me to wait for him? Let's see if I have his number here. I have a phone number. We'll give him a call. See what he says. What's his wife's name? Eileen. Eileen. Thank you. <laughs> what would I do without you, Joan? The same. I saw it. Hey, hey Ed, this is Pete Fitzpatrick. We're just wondering, we're down at the town hall. We're wondering if you're coming to the meeting or if you're going to zoom in. Um, give me a call or show, uh, come down here if you can. Thanks. Bye. Okay. Yeah. She stopped me though to say that she knew the meeting was today and thought we would be thinking of us and she. I'm going to wait till 435 just because no since this is no somewhat of an important meeting. Well, we have a forum. That's not what I just would like, you know, everybody to be here if possible. Yeah, I went to a voice now. If you guys have your sheets, I have a spreadsheet. I can, um, if you want. We all do. The uh, acronym should be self explanatory. Yep. You probably got to give it back to me because I left a question on. Uh, I, I have to say that. So, do I have to get something? I kept um, thinking to myself. No, we can. I mean, it's. If you're not fine, if you have if we wanted something we want to discuss, we can discuss it. Yeah. Sure. We're, we're, so do you want this? Yeah, then you can give it back to us. Um, let me take. Let me write what you have, okay. and then give it back. And yeah. I'll give it back, and then you can tell me just so I have it. I, I will say I felt handicapped by being a part of a government process. Yeah. Uh, I'm not complaining. I'm yeah. saying I would very much like to so, have been able to ask questions of both parties. Hello. Hello. Oh, Eddie, how you doing? You coming down to the meeting? <laughs> you, you, uh, well, did you get the Zoom link? It was emailed to you. I, I I got your email, but. Unfortunately, we can't use it unless you're here to, to vote on it. That's the only, or, or via Zoom. You could join on Zoom. Did you ever talk to Johnny? If you get on the computer, that's that counts. I didn't Johnny. Legend. I can email it. Um, oh, the phone number. Yeah, hold on uh, one second. Yeah, but not this. I should have it here. I 
which number would he call Luke to just to voice in? Mm -hmm. Um, one, three, or one. Are you are you ready to write something down? Actually, give a number. Not that it matters. Yeah, I'm, we're at the town hall, but I'm going to give you a number to dial if you want. I'm going to give you a telephone number to call in if you'd like. Three oh one. Three oh one. Seven one five. 301-715-8592. And then he needs a um, meeting ID. It's going to ask you for a meeting ID. Hello? It's going to ask you for a meeting ID. And that is... 891 571 5783 0721 and then hit pound no no doesn't no 5783 and then 0721 and then just hit pound and then hit the pound button this has nothing to do with it when they when they ask for a uh, use writing. No, after you do that, they're going to ask you um, for a user ID and just hit the pound button. Uh, or PASCO. PASCO. That's for PASCO. Yep. It's called a PASCO. If you have any trouble, call us back. Okay. Thanks. He's cooking dinner, so he won't be able to make it. We're hey, gonna try. He's gonna try to log in. I'm just repeating mm -hmm. information. I'm not. I'm not judging. Well, I am. I am too. <laughs> <laughs> What's his number? All right, we ready to start then? No, we can't. We have a quorum. We have a quorum. Oh, we have quorum. Quorum. Oh, sorry. Um. Let's just see if anybody else is logged in. Can we text him? I mean, he's going to try to get on Zoom. He's going to call me back if he can't. Okay. Listen, we're going to, you know. He can, yeah. can he then just be on a phone, a speakerphone? That's all we gave him was which a dialer fine. number, which is fine. Right. If he can't get on Zoom, I don't know. All right. So I'm going to call the meeting to order at 437. sure there's nobody on zoom so i have nobody on zoom but we do have a zoom open so as you guys know that's just whenever we vote on anything you have to even though we're all here you just have to state your name and what your your vote is um, um, i want to thank all of bidders that 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 uh, i know there's a lot of time and effort putting um uh, go, going into this so we thank everybody for doing that number one um and um then just a general comment, and here's Eddie calling again. <laughs> I'm going to put them on speaker. Eddie. All right, just stay on speakerphone here, on this phone, okay? Just can you just stay right on this line? We'll just use my cell phone. I, I think that's acceptable. We'll find out if it's not. Um, so we we start um, Eddie. Just so you know, in the room, it's the the committee: Joanne, Luke, myself, and Jimmy O'Connor. And we also have uh, Toby Ahern um, sitting uh, sitting in the room as well. Yeah. Um, so just just briefly, um, as you know, we all have the point system, and um, you know the points. I had some questions to Joanne, and you know it's not it, it can be all or none, or it doesn't have to be all or none. I think it's I think it's more leaning towards it's not all or none. It's because I don't think on any one of them, either bid had zero. They may have missed some things, but you know, but they still had some. There was something that you could. So just to say that. All right, I see what you're saying. You're going to give them the, whatever the points are there showing. Yeah. 
Yes. So, Eddie, I'm talking to everybody, not just you. You know that, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, so, yeah, and I have your points, Eddie. So, you, you're fine. You did good there. Oh, I did good. You did good. Um, and the point system is not the only thing that we use to uh, make a recommendation or, or not. It's just a, it's just one one piece of information that we use. And then just finally, everybody knows that we are only an advisory committee and whatever we do tonight is only a recommendation that will go to the town manager and the selectmen and they have full responsibility of making a decision. They can do what we what we recommend or not or or you know it's entirely up to them. Um, so I know Joanne, if you want to go over your questions, I'll I didn't finish typing it in yet, but that's okay. So do you want to still take people? Uh, yeah, let me take me two seconds here. So I have a spreadsheet and I'm putting everybody's in because what I'd like to do, if anybody has a better idea, I'm open to it. But what I'm going to do is take all of the evaluations, put them in the spreadsheet, and then I can tell everybody what the number is. So based on all of our um, collective inputs on this, we'll we'll know what the, the total is, the gross score is. Am I the last one? I know, you're the first one because I got stuck on the phone. No, because I was going to say I could ask my questions before the end of mine. You can ask your questions while, while we're typing because I'm... It may not be me that answers them. Well, I want to look at what I'm doing. Oh, so the, um, I had a question on how to rank the financial stability of Nagant and Nahant Golf Club at Kelly Greens because nothing was submitted currently at the time. So I didn't know as far as bank, you know, in the past, as a kid to in other years that I've been involved, they submitted financial statements. Right. Um, so I didn't, know, I didn't know if that was something that had to be currently in front of us in order to. Can I answer how I scored it? Yeah, and some of the yeah, absolutely. Uh, so I agree. Um, your application. Um, in the alternative RFP, there were guidance statements provided with cash mm -hmm. of what? So I gave that a score. On there, there were zero. But my, but my question is, does, does that necessarily have to be a zero because it says that it will be provided if the bid is given? That's what I'm asking. So I did the not. He asked for it. It doesn't say you have to have it. It says who has to be provided, but it doesn't say at what point. That's what my question is. Which I agree with, but in our estimation of an RFP, you can only go by what is provided. Well, that's what I'm asking. So, so that's why, by the way, the score does not determine the outcome. Mm -hmm. You can only grade on the score of the RFP. And within the RFP, the group that was provided was nothing. Right. But I, I would like to hear from the. Sure. Yeah. yeah. So it's just my opinion, mm -hmm. right? And Jim. Oh, just because we've been involved in other yeah. things throughout the years. So I struggled with that one as well. Um, what I, so when we tally these all up, we can tally the one growth score of, of everything. Mm -hmm. And then we can also look at individual categories. Mm -hmm. Yes. And we could say, okay, if they're losing way too many points just because they didn't put the finances, then maybe we can rethink of how we scored that. Maybe if that's what we want to do. Um, when I did it, I certainly gave, so the one that, where is mine? The, um, one of them gave us what I thought was a substantial documentation of their financial stability. So they got 20 points from me on that one. The other one I gave them, I believe I gave them 15 points and that was based on, and I could have gone Luke's way too, because they didn't give us anything, but it was based on, um, fortunately we know the people. Mm -hmm. So I said, and they did put a statement in there that if they are awarded that they would provide a bank account with enough resources. So I maybe took a little leap of faith, but I said, okay, I, they're not gonna get as many points certainly, right, right. but I don't think it's zero because I think they, yeah, I just had a trouble giving them zero on it. That was just my and, and thought. The contract was offered to them that would have to be provided before any. Yes. Okay. Yep. So that was one question. And then on, yep. the, on the other, one. Sorry. Yeah. Um, on the management experience yes. of RB. Yep. I had a hard time coming up with a number because Golf course of management the experience. management aspects that there was restaurant experience and there was experience on oh, so i'll go first on this one stuff. same here right so um the one of them got more than mm -hmm. the other and what i said about and, and i forget how much i oh whatever i gave a lot to 
I gave, uh, I think I gave probably, yeah, you can do anything you'd like. Hey, Eddie, can you mute your phone until you want to talk, please? He goes, I'm not. Can you mute your phone until you want to talk? Yeah. Do you know how, do you know how to mute your phone? If you don't mind muting it, it's kind of disruptive. So did you, let me just type this in here and then we'll have complete, except for, okay. So Joanne, you can have yours back. Okay. So So on well, I'm not gonna, so the, the in my mind there was one that clearly had well, we don't I don't say which one mm -hmm. Toby's uh, package certainly in my mind had more golf course management experience mm -hmm. so I gave them the 20 points because I think that mm -hmm. you know that's just my my feeling so the other one they said that they were you know you you look at the resumes but you also have to look at what they're saying they're going to do just like we did with that proposal and they stated that they were going to hire somebody to manage that stuff. So I said, okay, at least they've addressed it. Mm -hmm. They might, they didn't name an individual. I'm not really big on naming individuals because you could name somebody today and they mm -hmm. could quit tomorrow. So that's how I rank the other one. If, if you guys wanna. By the way, Toby, since you're here. You picked the same number I did. I uh, just want you to know that that this evaluation process is entirely impersonal based on the actual proposal. And then we talk about it. Right. Yeah, I guess I, I, I wanted to, I was gonna say something to Toby specifically because you're here. Um, unfortunately, we can't ask you any questions about for an interpretation of your proposal. Which we would love to. <laughs> yeah, there's lots of questions that I would like to ask both, but I can't. Yeah, yeah. Um, basically all you, Unfortunately, you're just going to sit there and listen to us babble on and we could say something that's completely wrong and and if you tried to correct us, I would probably I would ask you not to. Because we have to evaluate this only on what was given to us right now. I think I, I think in the next one, we should put in a question and answer period for the bidders. Yeah. Um, but that's not where we're at so. Um, and then also I would say to both parties in case somebody else is listening on the Zoom. Uh, yeah, it looks like Nancy's logging in or, Nancy, are you there? I am, hi. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Doing all right. Um, so don't take anything personally on the scores because you saw what Joanne was going through, like should it be zero or, you know, what? So don't take anything either side. Anytime um, you use a rating scale, it has to become somewhat subjective. Right. It, it's difficult to keep it. Yep. Completely natural. It, 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 and in the capacity of what we are serving, which is a town representative, we have to be objective about the first question, which is how do you grade an RFP? Right. And then we could, I think, potentially discuss that. We can see if the same thing. Yeah, just in case it's somebody trying to log in. I don't know. <laughs> Hello. I'm sorry, uh, Tom Hall uh, was our over today. <laughs> Sheila has left the building. Sheila has left the building. Nancy, yeah. you probably can't see me for a minute because I have a spreadsheet and I'm trying, Hello. as you probably saw on the RFP, there um, was a point system. And I, so when I disappear, it's I'm pulling up the spreadsheet. I'm not trying to ignore you. Oh, no, no worries. I, I know the point. I know the point system. Okay. So I'm just trying to tally them all up so it'll help us uh, formulate a plan here. Okay. So I have Jim's here. Jim here. On this one here. So while I'm doing this, if there's any, any discussion that anybody wants to have, if you want to wait for me to just put this in, I can do that too. And I'm going to, just to be safe, I'm going to ask, um, somebody, one of the three of you, to just kind of 
make sure I did this right because I don't want to. Yes. Well, the math should add up by itself because it's in a spreadsheet, but just typing them in. And. Oh, yeah. Okay, good. I did it right. It was. Oh, sorry, I don't want to be, be that stretch. Yeah. The guy one that I read was like. But it says maybe. <laughs> I feel like I'm doing your job normal. I'm doing teaching. You're grading paper. Almost done. Did you find yourself correcting grammar? No. Lucas. I'm going to go with you. I have a golf club. I'm going to go with you. Luke, is that an 18? Luke, is that an 18? Yes. Sorry. Thank you. Thank you. To say it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you have to no function? Function? Yeah. What's your function? Oh, extremely mm -hmm. Can't be 20, it's going to be 10. You put 20, but there's only 20, 10 points allowed. You're trying to screw, you screw with me? A little bit. Gotcha. Sorry, I assumed you're off my problem, sure. Oh, I didn't. I, maybe I have to double check that. Okay. Oh, well, you really screwed up me, look. I apologize. So. You want me to help? On the phone, boys, yeah. <laughs> I did them all based on 25. I apologize. Okay, so do you want to change that then since it's based on? Okay, I'm on I'm on um, R and B. Well that's correct. I'm on R and B uh, and you're at 20. So that should okay. be obviously this, and that should be call it that. What's that? On six. Okay. Uh, so that should be this. And it should be, let's call it this. 20 points. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Oh, wait, wait. Ability. Yeah, I'll probably put this more like it. That's an 18. Yep, so 18. Both both. 18. Yep. Um, okay. yeah, I'm well, putting this more like a. Well, you gave them both the same. Uh, that's no, just oh. too, yeah, well, whatever, it doesn't matter. And then the last one. Uh, how about this? Okay, so let's see. Eight. Did John submit a run? So I talked with John Lombard this morning. He did, he got a copy of the proposal. He did send me an email telling me, we didn't discuss anything because we can't, but he did send me an email with his preference. But according to town council, I can't, cannot use that unless he dials in or, uh, or he's here. And so he, do a, a scoring scoring he did not do a scoring sheet and it wouldn't count because he's not here anyway. So I'm not even going to tell you what it, what it is. I don't think it actually I was told not to. So. He wrote me in. Um, <laughs> this one is 10 H. Okay, so I have them all, and I would, I, I do think it would be worthwhile for somebody just to read these to me quickly, just to make sure. Um, so if you can go, we let's do um, 
R and B management first. Uh, sure. Twenty. Who, who was the person? Uh, me. Okay. Go 20, ahead. 20, 20, 18, 15, 10, 8. Okay. Actually, you can do the other one while you have the paper there. That's fine. I'll just change the tab. Go ahead. Uh, 18, 16, 15, 18, 0, 10, 8. Okay. Just do um, R&B first. What's this? R&B. It's the same. Oh, it's the same. Okay. Yeah. Then it says Jim, right? Joe. Joe? Who's uh, Joe? Jim O'Connor. Go ahead, R&B. Uh, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 10, 10, 1, 2. Yep. Okay. And the other one? 15, 20, 15, 20, 10, 0, 5. Okay. You copy me? Uh... Yeah. Yes. Yep. Uh, yeah. R&B management? Uh, go. 20, 15, 20, 20, 20, 10, 10. Okay. Uh, same for you, other NGC. Yep. 15, 20, 17, 20, 15, 9, 10. Okay. I knew he was going to make a copy of the bill. I already uh, had the printout. Yeah, but, uh, <laughs> uh, R&B. Who, who are we on? Eddie. Eddie? Yeah. Uh, 22, hmm. 16. Yeah, 16, 20, 20, 19, 10, 10. Okay. Uh, NGC, 22, 20, 20, 20, 17, 10, 10. Okay. All right. Joanne, let's see. That's, That's the wrong one yet. Yeah. Gotcha. R&B, right? Uh, okay. 20, 15, 19, 20, 20, 10, 8. Uh, marketing, the last one was 8. Yep. Okay. Ready? Not yet. Go ahead. 18, 20, 20, 20, 15, 10, 10. Okay. So I'm going to take off the screen so Nancy can see me. So we have. Uh, go club at Kelly Davis. And the other one was okay. All right, so we can. I'm going to go back to the screen now. Um, I have somebody else on the line too. I don't know who that is, but that's okay. You can ask. Huh? I don't need to know. Okay. Um, okay. So here's the here's the results from the the, the um, point system. Again, this is just one thing that that we can use. Yep. Um, R and B management was 575, and I'll send the spreadsheet out to the golf committee uh, just for reference. And the um, NG Nahant Golf Club at Kelly Greens was 508. Is, is it worth people to know the specific categories of where? Maybe right. Uh, well, yeah, I think it would actually make sense. If you have a second copy of it. So. If we look at number one, let's I'll just make a little spreadsheet here right on the page. One was the um, Give me that. finance to the top. I'll read it to them. Give me that uh, packet for a sec. This packet? Yep. Yeah. One is revenue. Wow. So, yeah, so R&B was revenue to town R&B was 102. The Hunt Golf Club was 88. Number two is golf course experience. The Hunt Golf Club at Kelly Greens was 96. And R&B was 86. Number three, restaurant bar experience, 99 for R&B. 87 for NGC. Number four, 
which is reporting accounting. We had 98 for the golf club. 98? Yep. And 98. Number five is financial stability for R&B management is 94. For Nahant Golf Club was 57. Number six, five, seven. Five, seven. Yes, sir. Um, number six, maintenance plan was 39 for Nahant Golf Club. And 50 for r and Number seven was marketing outreach. We had 46 for r and And 43 for Nahant Golf Club. Um, all right. So those are the those are the number. I'm just looking at them myself here. So I guess so the first thing we probably need to discuss, right? Because there's there's two paths forward. One is we can re, we re, reject both bits. Um and, and we don't really need it necessarily need a reason, but if we don't think either bid is satisfactory to the town, we could reject recommend that we would that the selectmen reject both both bids um, and then and then rebid. So that's that's one avenue. The other avenue is actually there's three avenues. So the other avenue is we would um, uh, make a motion, discuss and vote on uh, one of the two. And the third is if we don't have sufficient information to make a decision, we don't have to do recommend a no bid. We can say, you know, we would really like to ask these questions of both bidders to get to get back some more information. Um, obviously, the third. So, so time is not time is of the essence, but it's not of the essence. We need to do what's right for the town. Um, so, if the the selectmen are not necessarily going to vote tomorrow night, there is a meeting tomorrow night. And if they, they this, if they're going to get an email from me tonight, regardless, let them know what happened here. They may, they have a lot of other things on their plate. They may not discuss this, even if we give them a path forward. That's certainly up to, uh, completely up to them. Um, if we did have some questions, um, we would have to go out and I think they get a, there's a certain amount of time that they have to respond. Um, but I, that's not something that should hold us back. If we have legitimate questions, <coughs> I think as a committee, then we should ask those questions. Can I ask questions on that right now? Yeah. So I wish to you uh, I can probably ask him to come in if, you need, if we need him. Well, only for this question. And I'm not a procedural person when it comes to government policy. If we ask for a, a Q and A period, is there, is there a is there like a required period? Is it extended by three months, or is it a week? I think it's I, I think it's a couple of weeks. What I talked to Tony today, he said it would be a couple of weeks for them to respond. Okay. Okay. But if they both responded quicker, then it could be quicker too. I don't know. But we're not under obligation to the period more than next. I mean, we are not, right? Where we had a period of time. But the rules, right. Right. Okay. Um, but honestly, I don't think we should let that um, change our mind, even if it's three months. If, it, if they're legitimate questions that we can't make a decision until we get an answer to those questions, then we should ask it whether it's one day or, or more, more arguments. I, I guess my feeling is looking at, at the distribution of points that um, the two areas where there was the most discrepancy between the two bids were number one and number five, both having to do with financial. Num number one's not financial. Well, financial oh, benefit right. to the town. Yes. benefit to the town. Both bids came in much under the required, not the required, the desired. Yeah. Oh, and also, we, we, we could have probably included in this way what was the total possibility. Right. Well, it doesn't really matter. Doesn't. I mean, the difference. All you need is the so difference. So let's talk. To, that's a good. That's a good point. Let's talk about that for a minute. Okay. So, so I would say the first one, revenue to the town, 
just holistically, I would say the number looks pretty good to me because yeah. one bid more dollars to the town and had a, a higher yearly um, increase, one and a half percent compounded versus 1,000 flat each year. Right. So to me, that almost looks like, if you look at the numbers, 102 mm -hmm. versus 88, in my little pea brain, that looks like- Right, I, well, I guess my, my question was, is that something that could be questioned? Is that firm on both parties? You know, whether that, and that, I guess that would take place during negotiations. So that is firm on both parties as far as- so very Say that again? It's very specific in the honor of the Yeah. I don't think there's any gray areas. Okay. Yeah, you can't, you can't after you, after, what you, put in is what you know, you it's kind of like when the sales guy telling you the car says, would you buy it today for 10 grand? You say yes. And then he says sold and you go, well, wait a minute. I don't want him to okay. 10 grand. Um, and yeah, my other wait, look, is, you have something on number one. Oh, well, 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 suggestions for all of us. This be, well, this is on number one. This, go, go, go for it. Go yeah. No, I mean, that was. Yeah, yeah, no, that's, that's fine. Yeah. So if you're saying that that's not negotiable, that's not something that could go out and question the answer here. Right. No, that's what you just said. I personally don't think that should go out into the, okay. yeah. I mean, if we feel that both numbers are too low, then we reject the bids. That's, right, right. I'm just asking what's appropriate yeah. to ask for further question. Yeah. Yeah, that's not, okay. because that's not a clarification. Mm -hmm. See, when you go off a question, you can ask for a clarification. Okay, this didn't make sense. That's pretty clear. Okay. So. Uh, the other one that I mentioned was number five where there was a 37 point discrepancy in the score. Yep. Um, because one proposal didn't supply the information that the other one did. Is that something that could be? Remedied. Remedied. No, well, so I, I don't know, but I would say that's almost a hard and fast thing too, because if you go to one and ask them to remedy it, now you're, it's kind of like I gave the secret sauce that one had to the other one. That's a problem, you know, when you have these public things. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if the disparity between the, I, I and when I look at the total, I say, okay, it's really not 94 to 57, because I would imagine if we did go out that we might probably get something close to something similar. So maybe it's not 57, but clearly one was better than the other mm -hmm. in that number five financial stability right but again, um, again this, the, there's always a flaw to any rates. but even if you but if you so so like you could play with the numbers too right this is just one thing we use mm -hmm. if you made them even and yeah. added in the 30 however many points they they would okay. still be below right it would be five it's 45. 37 points it would be 545 so. to 575 right if you gave them a link if my math is correct so based on that even even if you could ask for them to give us that, it wouldn't do anything. It would make it equal, maybe. Well, it would make it closer. Right? It would make it closer, yes. But remember, this isn't the only these numbers aren't the only thing that we use. It's just a guide. But that's that's a good discussion. Um, maybe we should go each one. Number two is uh, golf course management experience. Well, can I, can yeah. I ask you a quick question, please? Yeah. This is the chairman. What's the total possible score of each? Take well, these numbers five times five. Right, 25 times five would be the top one, right? So 125. 125. Just three now, people's already done. And it's 20? Well, we 100. Five times 20 is 100. I'm not looking at it. 125, 100, 100, 100, 50, 50. 50. OK. I'm asking this question because there are I'm trying to, sorry, I'm a project manager. I'm doing some, a little bit of waterfall approach here. So if there is a discussion at the committee level to actually reject anything, you would theoretically say, how much lower am I than all of these, right? So that total would be one, two, three, four hundred, five hundred, six hundred and twenty-five of a total. So would 575 or a 508 of a 625 total be sufficient for you to accept? Well, it's a different discussion. I know. Sorry, this is just an argument. So why don't we let's but let's let's why don't we? I don't think it is. Piece this through. Mm -hmm. Let's make a motion to decide whether we're going to reject the bids or not. If, as a committee, we're not going to reject the bids, then that none of that matters. And then we can move Thank forward you. and pick one. Thank you. That's so can somebody make a motion that make a motion to reject or not reject, and then we'll vote. I can make a motion. I'll make a motion. Go ahead, Joanne. I'll make a motion to reject the bids. To reject the bids. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Do I have a second? Can I open it for discussion before I second? No, you do. We okay. discuss it after a second. Second is just for a discussion. It's not a vote. Um, just to discuss it. It's advancing the motion. Yeah, you have to advance the motion. You can't, no, one person can't make a vote motion. Two people have to make a, two people to. I'll second it. For discussion. Seconded for discussion. Yeah, well, um, I, I, I still feel that the differential of the score would have been a, a much closer score if the financials had been. Um, so I, I don't know. I just don't, I feel that the bids are much lower. Even with the higher of the two bids, it wasn't until the final year of the multi-year proposal that would meet the minimum bid that we had requested. Well, no, it would be the ninth year before it would reach what we were hoping for. Okay. Um, and then I was in taking into consideration the possibility of $20,000 being taken out of that amount in capital improvements. So revenue to the town would actually be at least $20,000 less than the bid amounts. Yep. And I'm not sure, again, what the town, you know, that seems to be to me. We don't have to raise hands. I'm just being, I'm actually putting it out of First of all, thank you, thank you, mm -hmm. committee member Jeremy. Uh, the point for me really is sort of which is what we're supposed to be here for. Mm -hmm. um, my only comment with that is I think the town somewhat arbitrarily, you know, the $96,000. And so, A, B, um, I think we've been, it's been proven by those who've tried to succeed in the proximity to where it should succeed that a larger number doesn't work. So uh, I, although I agree with you that that is lower, and that's basically lowering it, mm -hmm. I'm not sure I agree with the town's expectation of 96, which is why I believe they added the caveat that they'll make their bids. Well, that's it would have been a minimum, a right? hard minimum, yes. That was not the town, that was this committee. No, that no. was the town. No, we came up with the numbers. And we recommended it. Right. We right. No, 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 I understand, but they, they accepted what we, we were not, it wasn't dictated to us. They accepted our much. recommendation. Right. Yes, but they also turned down things like a water bill um, allotment. No, that, that has not been turned down. That has not been so turned down. That's still in there. It's negotiable as it is in contract. Correct. I apologize. Right. All I'm suggesting is. I, I think the logic is sound, but I, what I question is whether or not it's worth rejecting the bids just because the revenue is lower. Because I think one of the things they question generally is what's the right revenue number, or rather, least number to make someone successful and appeal mm -hmm. to a bid. Well, so, feel free to vote against my motion. No, no, no. no, I, uh, no, no I, 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 sorry, I, I would potentially agree with that for other reasons. I don't know that that's necessarily the reason. Well, that was my reason. It could be if you have enough to share it. If you were to reject, I mean, that's yeah. not saying that you want I just to want to, I want to make a comment. The first thing you said, and maybe you didn't mean to say it, was that um, I thought you were starting to say like the financial thing, that number, or were you not? Mm -hmm. Well, then I realized that from our prior conversation that that's not something that. Well, so what happens if, let me just, if we reject and if the selectmen reject, it doesn't mean that we go back to the two bidders. Mm -hmm. It means we, we're on square one. We have to, re all over. We, and that's okay if that's what we have to do. We have to reissue the RFP, make any modifications that we want, and it goes up to the world. Yep. And those the two bidders that we have may not bid. They could change their bid. They could keep it with this. You know, there's a whole bunch of different things. So just keep that in mind. It's not a. But would the same that would the RFP have to go on exactly as it went out the first time? No, 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 no. No, you start from scratch. Right. We could. Right. It might be the exact same thing, but you stop the process. All right, I understand. But I would. I'd like to comment on your on, on this mm -hmm. motion. Uh, it's a difficult to work with business first, but you get COVID and all that. Yeah. 
Uh, one proposal actually reaches our minimum of nine or ten, mm -hmm. and then exceeds it. The other one never reaches the, the minimum. Right. So you, you know, you can't go and say, "Well, you're going to dolly up your documents so we can move forward." So it's so I guess I'll chime in and give my feeling too. Um, I'll be when I first read them both, I said. I kind of felt like okay, I want to I, I want to start again. Not so much that the bids were bad; that maybe the RFP the first thing that came to my mind. And I still have that in the back of my head. I would not vote to support rejecting of the bids solely on the price because I tend to agree with Lou that maybe because we have two bids that you know I was surprised that I, I figured one would come in at the number, but the fact that neither one did. Um, and just from talking to Michael Kelly, you know, he did five years ago because he, he said it was too high. And, just, and obviously the person, I know he bid a lot more, but that didn't go well either. So um, I don't think the 96, I would disagree that it was an arbitrary number, but it's, no, it's okay. It's just a number that, I mean, we're not experts on that. Right? Right. And the reason we put in provide as anything is because we, that was our bogey, but no, no, you know. and I and I was so, adamant about putting that in yeah. at the time. I so if there were other reasons, reasons that we could discuss to reject them, then you know maybe, but not on that one. In yeah, my let opinion. me just call up for one second. I actually gave some thought to resubmitting as well. If I were the dictator of this RFP process, I would have actually gone out with a lower minimum. And 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 said you bid what you want. The minimum is say fifty five. You bid what you want. Let them bid up. And I would have also said I'm open to anything beyond three years. Four years. Giving people. I will give you ninety. Let me just finish this. I will I will give you ninety, but I require a seven year. Can I interrupt for a minute? So all I'm getting is I think that's why this is challenging because it's. So uh, all of your points are valid, but they would have been more valid for the meeting that we were working to get the RFP. And well, you that, probably that's what, I'm saying, that's what I'm saying. I don't want to reject it for that reason. I'm just explaining why I don't want to reject it. Fair enough. Can we vote um, on the motion? Yeah, is there any further discussion on the motion? Just when we vote, we don't have to all vote. But if we voted to reject, it could be based on your own reasoning. It doesn't have to be the reason that I right. say. Okay. You don't have to give her, you just voted. Yeah, you your name. Right, that's what I'm saying. You do not have to okay. give her. You don't have to speak. You just say yes. Oh, we have to speak though. That's but for this, we right. do have to speak. So, um, okay. So I'm going to just do a roll call. So, Joanne? Yes. Luke? No. Yes, meaning rejecting, rejecting bids. bids. Luke says no. Jimmy? No. And I'm a no as well. So the motion does not carry. So by default, we're moving forward with the two. I'd like to make a motion to accept the bids. To um, accept the proposals. One of them or both of them? No, not to, <laughs> just to, that we're not, okay, we're not rejecting them, so we're moving forward, okay. I yeah. think by default, we're moving yeah, forward because right. we're not rejecting, yes. I, I know, think, yes. I think, I think yeah. by the waterfall, the next one is, do we want a question period or do we, do we suggest one? I, so I haven't really heard, honestly, any, in, to Pete's opinion, third person again. <laughs> you just did the third person. Um, <laughs> I haven't heard anything that, in, that would make me say, you need a I need to hold and have questions. Um, there definitely are questions that I would ask, um, and some of them might change my the scores. I think, but I don't know if, like the big one is the financial thing, right? That was the biggest disparity, and if we just void that one out, it doesn't entirely change it. Right? It doesn't make one go above the other. Right. Doesn't switch the position. score wise. Maybe doesn't in your brain it does. It doesn't. Right. Um, so. But would we be allowed to, in that Q and A period? Maybe this is the part that's. Well, we're not going to have a Q and A period. Next proposal. No, no, yes, but let me so, just ask. But to be clear, there will, will not the there will not be a Q and A period. We can ask questions, and they can give us answers. But we're not going to have a 
what we would like, having them sit here and we ask them questions. No, I'm not going to ask them now. I'm saying, yeah, yeah, I'm asking ever. what questions could we be asked expected to have? Them. What the questions that we would ask would go out to both parties. Right. It would be formal, right. and then they would reply to us independently. They may not answer it the way you want it to be. It's not a, so it it's not a, a discussion, not a dialogue. Understood. A motion to vote on one or the other proposal. Second. Okay. Well, I think we're okay. We had to make a well, we're already there, right? Well, no. So except that. Oh, except oh, without periods. the question period. Okay. No, so uh, uh, motion to. Which I was originally voting liking, but on just said doesn't want to be the questions I want to ask. The other, seconded by Luke. Any further discussion on the motion to vote for one or the other? All this is saying is that we're not going to do go back and ask questions. We're actually going to make a vote tonight. Can we discuss it as a group before we vote, or do we just vote? Yeah, no, we're going to. We, right now, we're just saying if we're going to vote. The next step will be somebody will make a motion to move forward with proposal A. Okay. So it will be seconded, and then we will have a discussion the period. Right now, we have a standing motion on the table to are we going to actually make a vote tonight? And so um, I will go first and say, Pete says, yes, we are going to vote tonight. Jimmy, yeah. Luke, yes, go ahead. Oh, you forgot to ask Eddie. Oh, my goodness. Okay. So. Didn't matter on the first one because we already had the right, right. Yeah, but we're going to ask him anyway on the first one. Hey, Eddie, are you there? Yep, he is. So I apologize. We kind of lost track of you being there. You guys speak. No, you got to speak up though if you haven't gone deaf. So that we. I, I, uh, I have no questions. Well, we did. So we made a motion, um, and we forgot to ask for you. No, so we made a motion to reject the bids, and there was one person that voted to reject them, and three others that voted not to. How would you vote on rejecting all both bids? Okay, thank you. All right, so now we have a question. Now that there's a motion on the table to decide if we're actually going to vote for one or the other, it's been seconded um, and we had our debate. So, what is your, are you, yes? Okay, thank you. Um, who did I ask Jimmy, right? Joanne? That contradicts what I made it by saying, it doesn't matter what I say. So, I'll say yes. <laughs> Matter. Because you made a motion to reject them right. earlier? No, so it doesn't matter. My own no, that's okay. That Since didn't. I got outvoted, I'm on... If that were the case, then you would have to leave, right? Or not? You're, you would be useless to us and if I, you couldn't I, vote on another motion because it was different no, than no, no, yours. No, no, no. I'm saying, would I vote? Would I? Should I vote? You can vote no. any way you want. This is a democracy. I'm going to vote no. You're going to vote no on to do right, one or the other. Because that would go along with what I my first request. Yeah, that's fine. Yes, vote is yes and no. Yes. Yeah. And then we need Luke. Uh, you're not Luke. Jimmy, you voted yes, obviously, to move forward, right? Yeah. All right, let's just, we're going to just wait for Luke to come back. Not going to vote on question one. Eddie voted no on question one. And he voted yes on question two. This will be the general election. Oh, yeah, that's the way Luke, how are you voting? <laughs> how are you voting? There is a motion. To, so uh, there's a motion to, uh, to, there's a motion that we are going to vote for one or the other. Yes. Okay. All right. Unanimous? Uh, no, no, not unanimous. Not unanimous. It was four to one. I voted no because Joanne I voted no. Objecting the vote. Yep. And I just not that I want you to, or I'm trying to to uh, coach the witness, but you can also abstain from voting on any question, so mm -hmm. you don't have to vote on any. Okay, so now we're going to have a someone's going to make a motion to recommend. I just want to get the wording done. Um, 
the proposal from XYZ. So there's not an open discussion now? There's nothing on the table right now. Oh, I mean, technically, there's nothing on the table. We can have an open discussion. There is, we're, about to, we're about to propose one or the other. And then you would but then you, you you could debate it. Uh, we're going to debate it after. We can. We don't. Okay. Go ahead. What's what's no, up? No, I, I, no, no. We can discuss it now, Luke. It's fine. If we discuss it now, and then when it becomes to the discussion period after the motion is made and seconded, then we can say no discussion. We already know what I want, right. so it doesn't really matter. Okay. I like this. In all my time in this committee, this is the toughest call I've had to make. Yeah. Because both groups have skill sets that actually complement each other. And it's a, uh, and it's a, it's a tough one, as long as it's that. And you've been on this committee for how many years? A long time. Years. I couldn't agree more. Um, I, just did a fourth one. I found yeah. myself saying, oh, I wish I could take this part of that one and this part of this one. Uh, but unfortunately, we can't do that. Which is, yeah, I wish the forces had combined. Which is exactly why I want to discuss it. Well, that's... Because <laughs> well, that it's challenging. That's, uh, so, the other thing that, that if we're just discussing, we have been burned in the past with things that looked great on paper. Right. Um, more than once in my tenure on this committee. So, I, um, I tend to put more weight on actual experience of what I've seen and what I felt, which is why I would lean towards one bit over the other, because on paper and dreams and what we would like to do from anybody's submission, we certainly know did not come to fruition the last time. Right. So, um, you know, that's why I certainly have feel that like, um, there has been a work, a body of work that has been seen. Yes. That that is entitled to more than just a point system. Right. That the, the numbers don't do justice to the actual practice that we have in Florida. I, I, I agree. Um, so does anybody want to make a motion? We just do it an up and down, up or down vote. So we have to do each one individually. Do we, I, I'd say it again. I didn't catch it. Do we, do we just do this as an up or down vote? Meaning, if you are, you could the the book. Five choices, or do we have to go to each one individually? I think we. I, I think somebody makes a motion to move forward with proposal A. It gets seconded. We debate it, and we vote on it. Uh, let's think about this. So you're saying, can we just do a roll call vote? Is that what you're saying, Jim? Based on the proposal and the scoring, and making a proposal, make a motion to accept the bid for R and D. Okay, motion to recommend the proposal from R and B based on the what did you say? The score? Well, if you want the whole, I'm mean, going to give you a no. I want what you said. Answer, no, based on the saying. score. Oh boy, my battery's running low. I got to plug this in. I got to hold on. Keep going. Nancy, you don't want to lose so it. Why you guys are why you're doing that? Uh, I, I think it's clear for all of us that like from a golf pro perspective, we know who we'd like. From a maintenance perspective, we know who we'd like. From a restaurant perspective, we're not entirely sure. We have someone who has a great resident. Then we have the score on other things. Um, Did you get the wording for that?
just happen. Yeah, you're gonna have to listen to me for a second. Okay. My God. What are you doing? 